Hello everyone, I'm Daniel Tyland, Executive Director of the Commission for Environmental Cooperation, the CEC. On this year's International Day for Biological Diversity, we're calling on everyone to move from agreement to action and build back biodiversity. We're proud to have participated in COP15 held right here in Montreal, where 188 countries signed on to the historic Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework, putting forth an ambitious plan for transformative change to reach our global biodiversity conservation goals. In this climate crisis that we are facing, we need everyone to engage in a whole of society and whole of government approach to protecting biodiversity. 2023 is a critical year to accelerate progress on our global goals and to protect and to enhance our shared environment and to ensure that we achieve environmental justice for the most climate vulnerable. And in our efforts to tackle climate change, we can and we must employ nature-based solutions in our mix, elevating traditional ecological knowledge and indigenous-led conservation. As ecosystems and species know no borders, from our North American platform at the CEC and working closely with the governments and communities of Canada, Mexico, and the United States, we're fostering a regional approach for biodiversity conservation, emphasizing trilateral connectivity and a regional environmental identity. We're supporting habitat conservation for migratory birds in the central grasslands of North America. We're advancing pollinator conservation by sharing tools to organize native bee inventories and improving monitoring. And we're supporting a network of ecologically representative and connected marine protected areas, as well as other effective area-based conservation measures. Every summer, we and our North American partners engage individuals and communities with the International Monarch Monitoring Blitz supporting science and conservation actions by sharing observations of monarch butterflies and milkweed to better understand the monarch's status and migration patterns. Through our EJ for Climate and Apica Grants programs, we're empowering local communities to take matters into their own hands to address environmental challenges and the effects of climate change in North America. With many of the nearly 40 ongoing projects that we support being biodiversity positive, and well aligned with the new biodiversity framework. On behalf of the Commission for Environmental Cooperation, I encourage you to join the environmental movement and act, collaborate, empower others, and do your part to help build back biodiversity and address our planetary climate crisis. I look forward to this year of action for biodiversity to build momentum for this critical decade in human and planetary history.